Diane Gash's second family consists of the staff who make up the orthopedic department at the Quincy Medical Group. It's this second family that has stayed by Diane's side as she went through treatment for breast cancer. And it's this second family that continues to show support for her through all of her endeavors. One of those endeavors came in the form of a color run. Diane had mentioned wanting to run in it, but was hesitant when she thought it might ruin her wig. One of my coworkers said, well, what about, you know, we'll get rainbow wigs. Around 15 of Diane's co-workers hit the streets with her, decked out in colorful wigs. Next came an even bigger gesture. Three of Diane's co-workers and her husband revealed they had shaved their head in support of Diane. I was really shocked. I had no idea that they would do that. And had they asked me if, they want, if I wanted them to, I would have said, oh, please don't. Your hair is too precious. One of Diane's co-workers, Dr. Kirkard, said it was an easy decision for him to do it just a haircut for the three of us, or four of us, but for Diane, having gone through what she did, and that's a whole different thing. I mean, we're not the heroes here, it's Diane and what she went through, so it was easy for us to make the decision, just a haircut. It's not a lifestyle, it's not gonna affect me for five years or 10 years. Um, so for us, it was no big deal. Diane's husband says it's been a comfort for him to know that she has a support system everywhere she goes. I'm not sure if in all places where people work that they're going to, people are going to step in and take care of you and while you're not able to be there and be sympathetic towards that. So I think that says a lot for, for the group of people that she works with. Diane counts herself lucky to not only work with these people, but to be able to call them family. It's humbling. It's like you just, you just think you're just anybody. And then when people do something special for you, I know it makes you feel special. Megan Townley, KHQA News, Quincy.